The Youth East and Youth East Works projects are targeted at 14 to 19 year olds in the east of England who are not in employment, education or training. These programmes offer a wide variety of imaginative and innovative courses, especially designed to help young people gain vocational and social development and accredited qualifications, enabling them to re-engage or remain in education, training, employment or apprenticeships. These courses are created by providers who work collaboratively with Hartford Regional College to develop unique programmes that attract young people, giving them focus and structure within their lives. This film features five of the varied programmes that form part of the Youth East and Youth East Works projects. The purpose of this course is to take 16 to 18 year olds who are unemployed, not in employment, education or training and try to basically give them qualifications to enhance their CV, for some of them even write a CV for the first time, to give them work experience. The three outcomes we have are further education, employment or an apprenticeship. Hello, my name is Brad Rose. I'm the CEO of Backdoor Security Solutions Limited. I'm here today. I used the model of the Dragon's Den TV programme. So I made them come up with a fictional product. They believed in it, they made it, they made business plans for it, and they pitched it with so much passion today. I'm really proud of them. Bankbury is the next step in mobile phone safety with more than 5 billion mobile phones worldwide. Did you say it was £25 retail and you've worked your production costs out at £6? I myself presented a IT style product, mainly gaming modification, which was my chosen field this time. Hello Dragons, I'm Max Sudler, CEO of Smite Gaming, uh, the umbrella corporation behind Customs. I was just focused, I was incredibly focused. I wanted to show a certain passion for the business as if it were really my own. A brand new range of controllers, which he's going to talk about now with you. Good afternoon Dragons, when you are playing the console, you're looking at confidence, you're looking at leadership, you're looking at basic communication skills. Inclusive of your money, I also want to bring some PR. I've discovered a latent sort of leadership ability in myself. Now I've shown that I can in fact lead others as well. I will now open the floor to questions. like the presentation, love the idea. This sort of accessorisation, accessories are always very good. It's all about selling yourself and believing in yourself and a lot of the people that I interview for the programme, when I meet them, they haven't got that. Would you take 27.5%? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack, let me handle the money. <laughs> In the workplace, you need a sort of level of communication with other people and you have to get yourself on the level with someone else so you can really get the most out of them. And that's what I've really picked up on this course, communication and interpersonal skills. Whatever reason, they don't believe they've got what I know they have. All the contacts I was very quickly getting, I was getting in contact with local businesses, I was getting offers from Connections straight away. It, it really seemed like a new stage in my life for me. So many people come onto a course like this and are undecided, but by listening to experts, getting in guest speakers from apprenticeship teams, from Youth Connections, getting people to really focus on what are your skills, what are you good at. We had 18, 19 young people sign up to a college course where they didn't feel confident doing that before because they didn't have a direction. I'm really optimistic for the future. I've already had some offers for certain placements. I want to get some work experience, you know, have some, something really, really useful to add to my CV. The project is aimed at young parents or young parents-to-be and we're delivering a level one parenting qualification to them and they um, come along a day a week and meet other mums and other mums-to-be, um, all get a qualification together and all learn a bit through each other's experiences. Today we did a unit of the qualification which is around positive parenting skills so we looked specifically at routines and why it's important for children to have routines. Come to like five o'clock and she'll want to sleep. They yeah. don't like it, they're not comforted by it, it's a new thing and they get wary. Yeah. We created routine charts for bedtimes. They enjoy the peer support of coming to a group, meeting other people, sharing experiences, learning from each other. Yeah. What should I put? Because I say goodnight to Harvey in like random languages. What the hell do you write there? Say goodnight. 
kids can cuddle. I've learnt things to do with being a parent. I've learnt about like being careful, don't run the hot water in the bath, you run the cold water first. You do learn a lot of things, and not only from the teachers, but from the other mums. And only focusing on the good behaviour makes them think that they want to do more of that. We talked about encouraging positive behaviour and how we can promote positive behaviour in our children, so we looked at reward charts in particular. Yeah, yeah. Or it be well, no, if choice? he got loads, if he got like all ticks, he'd get to choose. Yeah. It's normally a magazine of, as a boy, they do these match attack things. Yeah. Put them personalised yeah. so you can yeah. have on them, for example, Harvey's been a good boy today, sticky up. Well, as they get older, they need to know the right and the wrong, and they know that if they do good, they get rewarded for it, and then hopefully they'll carry on doing good things. It's nice to have something specifically for young parents. It can be an extremely isolating time for them and often there's not a lot of things for them to get involved in in the community. Yeah, my you say eat your breakfast, you go, no. I'm hoping to do another course, hoping to get back into work. I'm currently, well, maybe getting into doing an apprenticeship. We've had a core of about 10 girls that come regularly. We've had lots of girls give birth during the course, not actually in the room, but um, they sort of go away for a week and they come back with their babies, which is really positive, the fact that they kind of have enjoyed it that much that they want to come straight back and get stuck in still. Right out, James. Put your seatbelt on, please, mate. Yeah. Remember what we've done yesterday? Get yourself in the travelling position. Turn the key on there, mate. The forklift truck project that we're delivering in Essex is a programme designed to help learners into employment. To the next pad. Well done. Nice and slow. Now look at the front. Straighten yourself up. The learners benefit from doing a project like this because the employment opportunities that are available to them in the area in which the project is being delivered very much focuses around the port in Tilbury and there are a number of job opportunities for young people in that area. Just come back towards me. There you go. Give it nice and straight. Currently in Tilbury they're building a new super port which is going to create thousands of job opportunities for people in the local area. We work with the pre-16s, the 14 to 16 year olds in school, those that are at great risk of becoming disengaged from learning. We hook them back into education by using imaginative provision um, that allows them to succeed in their GCSEs. Yeah, so that's well, like that that's like up an old record. Yeah, yeah. The benefit of working with a company like Positive Strides is that our young people develop a self-confidence. They learn how to cooperate, work with one another, work with different adults they wouldn't normally be involved with. There's an old school drum break I've sampled, and as soon as you put a snare drum in it, can't we just use that a little bit? That's what we're going to do. <coughs> so all have a go on the keyboard and just experiment, basically. It teaches them team skills, it teaches them independence, and it teaches them socialisation skills. All of these are valuable for when they move on later in life. It's definitely made us work together more than we normally would, or people that wouldn't normally talk to each other or normally wouldn't work to each other now are. <laughs> really helped me because I've overcome my fears and I've learned how to play the piano and we writ lyrics to a song which I never thought I could do. They said enjoy it and that's what I was doing. I was enjoying what I was doing on the piano. I don't think that I could have done any better than I did today. As I've been growing up I've always been told that I've never been good enough or stuff like that, and I've been embarrassed because I thought I weren't good enough where I've been told that. And today, everyone's been saying, well done, you've done really good, or like stuff like that, and they've commented me, and that's made me feel better in myself, so. It's a different way of learning. We don't do like what Positive Strides do in lessons. You guys to do, work together as a team, collaborate, 
and come up with some amazing music that we can all be proud of. I'm going to do what we call a freestyle. Because you can rap about anything. As if you said cake, I'll start rapping about cake, yeah? <laughs> this naturally just brings out people's passions and stuff like that. Kids are very passionate about music. You know, it's one thing that, you know, some of the kids can't be reached, but through music you can really reach people. The kill, that's how we do it in the Marriott school. Just give me the word, cause that's the only rule. It's about the board, and when I'm on the mic, I never get bored. Hello, my name is Matt, shake the hand, how you doing? I like your spiky hair, this is how we keep it moving. Right. To get respect, you give respect. Plug in the mic, the beats connect. To get, get respect, you give respect. To get respect, you give respect. We're getting a bit tongue tied, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, like, here we go. Today it was really good the way they was all collaborating and kind of bouncing yeah, off each other. So I think it really helps their people skills and a lot of their confidence gets built up through these sort of sessions. Respect each other, don't. Oh, oh so yeah. near! <laughs> With this scores they are doing, they will learn that no, giving up actually is not an option and you don't get things right first time. Respect each other, don't reject. Ooh, oh, nearly. Oh, Come on. Respect each other, don't reject. Excellent, well done. Oh, well, reject. Project opinions and select. Excellent. Whoa. That's a one take, yeah? You're one of them one take specialists, I like that. <laughs>